I'm Peter Block here in Orlando, Florida at the ACC annual meeting here for On the Scene. With me to my left is Otavio Berwanger, who's from Sao Paulo, Brazil, and he has just finished completing the SECURE PCI trial. Exactly. Now, atorvastatin is in this trial, and it seems reasonable that atorvastatin given to patients with acute coronary syndromes might make a difference. Yeah. So, Otavio, tell me about your trial. Yes, yeah, so the SECURE PCI mm -hmm. trial included patients with all types of ACS, so STEMI, non-STEMI, and stable angina, with intended PCI. And of course, at the long term, we know that atorvastatin and other statins reduces major cardiovascular events, but there's maybe other things going on, like pleiotropic effects. And this will be very helpful to prevent events, especially in patients undergoing PCI. In the first 30 days? In the first 30 days, exactly. Okay, short-term trial, atorvastatin given two doses, right? Before yes. and after. Sure, yeah. Their PCI. But some of your patients also had surgery and some had medical therapy. Is that a good or bad part of the trial? Well, uh, th there's two ways to see it. So of course, it increases the uh, external validity of the trial because it really reflects clinical practice. It's closer to real-world evidence. On, on the other hand, as we found, the effects are really, especially these pleiotropic effects, are really driven by reduction in MI. So it's one would expect that the results would be best in patients undergoing PCI than in patients undergoing medical therapy or surgery. Okay, you made a big mistake. You brought up the whole issue of what the trial showed. So show me, tell me what the trial showed, and then we'll talk about maybe a little bit about a subgroup analysis. Sure. So in, in this trial, 65% uh, only of the patients underwent PCI and 20 something percent underwent surgery and others underwent medical therapy. In a study, uh, we saw a non-significant trend towards reduction of MACE at 30 days, which MACE were total mortality, non-fatal MI, non-fatal stroke, or unplanned revascularization at 30 days. And all the events in the complete population went in the right direction, but non-statistically significant. Yeah, they, I looked at those data and they do go in the right direction. So is there a subgroup where they really made a difference? Yes, so in the protocol and the statistical analysis plan, we had a pre-specified subgroup analysis just in the patients who underwent PCI, and we still have statistical power to address that. And in, in these patients, consistent with previous systematic reviews and small trials, we found a 28% relative risk reduction of the same MACE at 30 days, clearly driven by a reduction in total MI. Okay, so, Otavio, let me ask you something. I don't want to give you a myocardial infarction, but if you have one <laughs> right now and I take you to the hospital and do a PCI, do you want to have a torvastatin or not? Yes, I think it's a readily available therapy. It's cost effective, and I think I, sh I should definitely start in the very early hours of a myocardial infarction. Okay, and it has relatively little risk. As a matter yeah. of fact, in your trial, I think the people that had rhabdomyolysis were all in the control group. <laughs> Isn't that correct? Yeah, and it was very, very few, if any, events. So yeah. it's very rare in the first 30 days so to see the sort of event. Safe drug seems to have a good uh, outcome in patients who are having PCI. Sure. For those patients who are having an infarct and you're the doc, think about a torvastatin before and after and keep it going because long-term we know that it does help as well. Of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Italian.